time to get out and play. Amsoil delivers the ultimate protection for your vehicles and equipment. Fast, free shipping right to your door. Spend $100 and shipping is on us. Order now at amsoil.com. All right, guys, check this out. New seat from Sully's Customs. All right, there it is. Look at that. That is wicked. It's got like this vintage style vinyl on it. And it looks pretty killer. Pretty excited to see how it looks on the bike. Dudes, check that out. That looks friggin' awesome. Like that's... That's killer looking. And it bolted right up. No problems. I used the later style knurl nut there or bolt, I suppose. And that looks pretty dang killer. Look at that. Sweet. And what's cool about these Sully's ones, to me, all the ones I've looked at, these seem like some of the nicest chopper style seats with the built-in sissy bar is is all this is a metal frame. So you actually don't have to have a sissy bar. It's actually completely strong by itself. You can add a sissy bar, but well, a lot of them are just foam. Like it literally just flops around. This has got a nice metal base of the, the whole thing. It's pretty killer. Now I got some other things put on. Got some original old school foot pegs to get rid of these. All right, got the pegs on and now I'm gonna get rid of this mirror because it uh, is a fine mirror, but it doesn't stick out far enough to see past me. So I got a new one here, and this is uh, from B Twin. You get on highrevsgarage.com, my site. Uh, that's your part number there. And this is the left side one, and this is the long stem, and it is uh, a stainless uh, mirror, and then it's a uh, billet on the stem. So, and it comes with all the little spacers, everything you need, pretty much for any model. All right guys, I also grabbed a couple packs of the uh, brass carburetor adjuster screws. These have got the longer stem and the knurl, and it's uh, still got the flathead if you really wanna carry one in your pocket while you ride. But uh, these are great for S and S's. That's your part number there. Search it up on uh, highrevsgarage.com. And uh, you get those replaced out on here. This one way down in here for the idle. And then it's got uh, this uh, uh, accelerator pump adjuster. And I've got two packs of them, one for this thing and then one for the shovel. And uh, that should be pretty nice. I also picked up uh, this right here, which is the, the choke knob. So the choke knob here, uh, you replace the main nut right here. And this has some little nylon pieces in it that'll kind of add a little tension and you add the handle to it, to give you something to pick up on instead of having to reach in and grab this little thing, especially with gloves on. Uh, and it'll hold tension instead of just snapping right back down. So you kind of set it where you want it. Uh, on the shovel head, I have one of the little knurled ones you can set into a notch. And I think I'm actually gonna like this better. I may end up ordering another one of these for it instead. All right, so now the knurled finger ones are on there. And this being that Chinese carburetor, I had to like run it back and forth and get it to clean out the threads a little bit. Same thing on this nut. And then the top part up here where I had to put the set screw in, right there. I had to end up sanding on the end of this just a little bit just to make it fit in. And I'm thinking it's because this is that Chinese carburetor and this is made to fit a real S&S, &S, obviously. Um, but now I can set the choke wherever I want it and it'll automatically hold, which is awesome. And I can adjust, reach in, adjust my idle or my accelerator pump whenever I want. So that's pretty awesome. All right, guys, I yanked the other breather off there and I actually picked up this cool little thing here. So this is one for the old school original uh, Linkert, I guess is the way you say the old school name brand. Um, except for this one fits an S and S. So, uh, but it's the old school, it says TT Racing. Um, uh, I don't even call it an air cleaner, it's just a snoot. So it's an air intake snoot, so there's no no cleaner in here at all. 
but it's really neat looking. It's this tiny little cleaner on there. This will be nice and small. I don't know, it's just something, something different. And it has this little flap uh, here for you to move down. I'm sure some of the old school guys could tell me exactly what it was for. I assume since this was some of the racing stuff, it was probably, uh, you know, be able to squirt some cleaner or starter or something fluid in there. And, you know, I don't know, but it looks neat. So I'm gonna toss it on there. All right, this thing comes with three screws or bolts and it, uh, it's kind of odd because all of these seem like an odd size and you can only put two of them in because the third one over here is hidden. Only these two are the ones you can run. And this one is even too long, I think, to run through this and that, um, which would be maybe fine up here because it could stick out, but it's an odd. I don't know why you need so, long, so many long ones. It's kind of strange. Look how weird that looks. Weird and cool. Little snoot. And take a look inside the carburetor, see what's going on if it's flooding because the float stuck because that happens on these all the time at least everyone i've ever, ever had a uh, squirt car better clean there starter fluid it's kind of weird i don't like it All right, guys, make sure you check out the website. We've added thousands and thousands of awesome motorcycle parts. Um, we've got apparel on there. We've got extended front forks, fenders, frames, anything you can think of. Check it out.